What's up guys, PowerManiac720 here and I have for you today round 5 from the Springfield January Premier Challenge. At this point in the tournament I am 2-2, two and two. I need to win my last round to make cut. And honestly I'm feeling pretty good about my chances of making cut at this point because um, I have, they posted the uh, standings after round 4 and I was the best 2-2. Two and two. Um, I had a pretty high resistance because one of my opponents was 4-0, another one was 3-1, and another one was 2-2 uh, I think. Um, and my opponent now is 2-2, two, two, so I mean, overall my resistance is looking pretty decent, especially being the best 2-2, two, two. so I thought for sure I pretty much had it locked up. Um, so let's see how this, of course I'd have to win first, um, but I figured a win and I was in. Uh, so my opponent was Patrick, um, and he ended up leading Kangaskhan and Landorus, pretty standard uh, lead, or pretty standard Pokemon. Um, I don't really see the two of them too often, um, as I just lead Talonflame and Raikou. So of course my huge fear here is that this um, this uh, Landers is scarfed, and if that's the case, like he can just rock slide, and then I'm kind of in trouble because he can just like uh, KO Talonflame and just flinch Raikou to death. Um, so I quick guard to block the incoming fake out from the Kangaskhan, and thank God he goes for it, protects my Raikou, and my Raikou actually outspeeds, and I'm able to hit him with a hidden power ice, which is awesome. Like. I was so happy when I saw that. Because um, Landorus is just an annoying Pokemon to deal with. I mean, it's got to intimidate the shuffle. And, but Hydreigon comes out now. Um, so I just Tailwind because I want my Pokemon in the back to be able to clean up. Um, and I just go for another Hidden Power Ice on the Hydreigon this time. And since I'm Specs, I'm able to do well over 50% damage. I was actually surprised at how much it did. As Hydreigon just goes for the Dark Pulse on Talonflame, and it is Specs, so it's easy when it KO since obviously I'm only 4 HP Talonflame. As King Scott just goes for the return on my Raikou. Um, Raikou's not very bulky, and plus mine only has 10 defense IVs because I wanted a Hidden Power Ice one, and so I just settled for the 10. Um, so now that it's down to 2 2, but I'm not too concerned because he's got a Hydreigon that's locked into um, Dark Pulse against my Hydreigon and Blastoise. And since he's locked into Dark Pulse, I know he can't beat my Hydreigon. Um, so I know I can just go for the double target onto his Kangaskhan this turn. Um, which is what I end up going for. I go for the Dragon Pulse and the Aura Sphere. Um, Aura Sphere is almost a one-hit KO on Kangaskhan, so I know that at that range it's an easy KO. Um, so now next turn, I can just Dragon Pulse and Aura Sphere um, freely and pick up an easy KO. And of course, because even though I have Tailwind up, um, oh, I'm sorry, he's still talented in the back, so not over yet. Um, I'm actually in a little bit of trouble, but I'm not too concerned about it. Um, he actually goes to the Brave Bird on my Talonflame, which I was pretty surprised about. Um, sorry, on my High Dragon, which I was pretty surprised about. Um, so I just go for the Dragon Pulse onto his Talonflame and pick up the KO, um, which allows me to just go for an Aura Sphere and, and knock out the High Dragon for the win. Um, but I think if he wanted any chance of winning that, he had to attack Blastoise and knock it out. I didn't. I don't know if he just expected me to protect, but I really had no reason to protect because, of course, if I predicted wrong, it's game over. Um, so I ended up winning that and going 3-2. Unfortunately, though, um, I ended up getting 10th place and bubbling and not making top cut. Um, as you saw, I made some pretty, pretty bad mistakes that I probably wouldn't have made if I just had more practice with the team, but... I mean, that's what I get for going into a tournament with no practice. Um, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and I'll be sure to post more after my next Premier Challenge. Uh, actually, the next one I'll be posting for live events will be the uh, Virginia Regionals. So stay tuned for that. And of course, I have my daily, up almost daily uploads of my Oris Battle Spot doubles battles. So be on the lookout for those. Till next time, guys. Bye.